nine assists. Dorian Benkovic, a six foot one freshman from Croatia, 4.1 points and 2.6 rebounds per game. Stetson Smithson, a six foot seven freshman from Bald Knob, 9.6 points and 4.8 rebounds. And Ramiro Santiago, a six foot four junior from Argentina, 19.5 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 2.6 assists per game. The forward for Harding is Tyler Moore, a six foot seven junior from Little Rock, 4.1 points, 3.9 rebounds. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, five and five overall, three and five in the GAC, Mark Downey, 82 and 48 in five seasons as the Wonder Boys head coach. In 14 seasons as a head coach overall, he is 248 and 154. Nathan Kennedy and Blake Draper are the assistant coaches, and Josh Holliday is the graduate assistant. Starting at the guards, Keelan Adams, a six foot four senior from Pearland, Texas, 10.9 points, 6.2 rebounds, three assists. Tony Hall, a 6'5 senior from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 11.1 points, 4.8 rebounds, 2.3 assists. B.J. Johnson, a 6'3 freshman from El Dorado, 1.3 points and 4.0 rebounds. And C.J. Mann, a 5'11 freshman from Alma, 12.6 points, 1.5 rebounds, and 3.9 assists. The forward for Arkansas Tech is Kevin Howard, a 6'8 senior from Beaumont, Texas, 4.3 points and 3.9 rebounds per game. We will step aside for one minute and then come back for more pregame as we get you ready for the Wonder Boys and the Bisons. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. There are so many places to buy a vehicle and so many brands to choose from. Here at Bill Ryan Auto Place, we're proud of our River Valley roots. And every day, we're providing families with safe, dependable vehicles from Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Toyota. We were found at a time your handshake was as good as your word. Since then, the vehicles have changed and the people have aged. Well, we're still the same families we were back then. Come experience why so many families are trusting Phil Wright Auto Plex here in Russellville. Our shop is online at philwright.com. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, we're more than just tires. Consistent, responsive, honest and fair.
during these difficult times. Centennial Bank invites you to be a part of this great tradition and show your support this season. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Harding University will wear road black uniforms tonight with white letters and numbers outlined in gold. Arkansas Tech will wear the home white uniforms with green numbers on the front and back outlined in gold. The interlocked AT logo on the chest of those Wonder Boy uniforms that they will wear here tonight at Tucker Coliseum. Taking a look at what else is going on tonight in GAC men's basketball. One game underway. They did not play a women's game in Magnolia tonight due to COVID-19 protocols for the Cotton Blossoms of UA Monticello. And so the men's game got underway at 6 o'clock. They've got 1 minute and 47 seconds left in that one at the WT Watson Athletic Center. And the score is UA Monticello 69 and Southern Arkansas 63 as the Bull Weevils threatening to take first place in the GAC Eastern Division away from the Mule Riders if they can hang on for the final minute plus in that one. UAM led tonight by a familiar name, Dewan Jones, who was tough on the Wonder Boys a few days ago. Jones tonight with 16 points, seven rebounds, and six assists to lead the way for UA Monticello. Aaron Lucas has 13 points for Southern Arkansas. It's now up to a nine-point lead for the Bull Weevils with under a minute to go. We'll bring you a final from Magnolia when it becomes available. Elsewhere at Bill Vining Arena in Arkadelphia, it'll be Henderson State and Washita Baptist meeting in the other fierce rivalry in the Great American Conference. The two fiercest, I think most folks would agree, are Henderson State against Washita, and then the other one being East Central against Southeastern Oklahoma State. The Tigers and the Savage Storm meeting tonight at Bloomer Sullivan Arena in Durant, Oklahoma. That one, like the Henderson State Washita game and like our game, is just about to get underway. Same story in Bethany, Oklahoma, where Oklahoma Baptist will visit Southern Nazarene. The Northwestern Oklahoma State at Southwestern Oklahoma State game that was originally scheduled for tonight has been pushed back one week to next Monday night. Reviewing the starters for you for Arkansas Tech, it'll be Kevin Howard, Keelan Adams, Tony Hall, B.J. Johnson, and C.J. Mann. For Harding, it'll be Romeo Harvey, Dorian Benkovich, along with Stetson Smithson, Romero Santiago, and Tyler Moore. Glad that you are with us tonight on River Country, KCJC, and ArkansasTechSports.com. It'll be Kevin Howard against Tyler Moore for the opening tip. And we are ready for basketball at Tucker Coliseum. The ball is in the air. It is controlled by, after a second tip, Harding University, Romeo Harvey takes it, goes to the rim, and three seconds into the game, draws a foul against Arkansas Tech. The foul is on Tony Hall. It is Hall's first, team foul number one. And right to the free throw line goes Romeo Harvey, the fourth leading Free throw shooter by percentage in the GAC at 84%. First try for Harvey is on its way, and it is good. Romeo Harvey averaging 17.9 points per game. The only GAC men's basketball player averaging more points per game this year is his teammate, Ramiro Santiago, 19.5 points per game. Those two gentlemen, one and two in the conference in scoring. And Romeo Harvey makes both free throws to give Harding an early two to nothing lead. Full court pressure by the Bison. C.J. Mann with it in the backcourt, defended by Harvey. Gets by him with the dribble, goes to the right elbow. Cut off there. Bounce pass out on the right wing for B.J. Johnson. The redshirt freshman from El Dorado gives it back to Mann. Mann dribbles out to the Tech logo at midcourt. Gives to Howard at the high post. Back to Mann on the give and go. Layup is good. Harding unable to defend the give and go. And thus it's an easy layup for C.J. Mann. And the score is tied at two apiece. Mann at 12.6 points per game is the Wonder Boys leading scorer this season. He had seven points against UA Monticello on Saturday in a 67 to 62 Arkansas Tech loss. Left wing Romeo Harvey puts up a three over Johnson. It is good for Romeo Harvey. 1909 to go. First half Harding out to a five to two lead and you do not want to give Romeo Harvey any kind of confidence boost early on in this one. He has scored as many as 37 points in a game in his Harding career. Keelan Adams drives, shoots, and scores. Keelan Adams, a 10-footer from right of the lane. 18.51 to go first half, and it's 5-4. On the other end, three-pointer no good for 
Harding's Santiago. The Wonder Boys rebound it, take it the other way, and Arkansas Tech can take its first lead of the night right here. Right wing C.J. Mann, defended by Benkovich, throws in the quarter for Hall. Three-pointer is short. Harvey might have deflected it. Regardless of whether he did or not, he got the rebound, and Harvey over the timeline with a full head of steam for Harding. He gets to the baseline. B.J. Johnson on him. Pass out to the top of the key for, key for Benkovich. Benkovich hands it off to Moore. Moore back to Benkovich, left wing. Man with the defense on Benkovich. Pass across the top of the key, right wing to Harvey. He gives it up to Santiago. Santiago penetrates, feeds it down low for Moore. One dribble, layup good for Tyler Moore. Santiago with the assist. He averages 2.6 of those per game. And the layup by Moore as we go under 18 minutes to play in the half gives the Bisons a 7-4 lead. First two points of the game for Tyler Moore. He becomes the first Bison other than Romeo Harvey to score. Keelan Adams defended by Harvey on the left wing, throws it out to Mann, 11 on the timer, handoff right wing for Johnson. B.J. throws it across to Adams. Now to Howard, right wing, long two is short, no good. Howard pursues and gets his own rebound, saves it into Tony Hall. Hall, who saw a string of 11 consecutive games with at least one made three-pointer come to an end on Saturday. Gives it up to Mann. Mann pulls the trigger on a three. Off to the left, no good. And the defensive rebound is taken away by Benkovic. Dorian Benkovic over the timeline. And the Croatian throws in the left wing for Stetson Smithson. Smithson fakes the three, drives the baseline, leaves it at the left elbow with Moore. Moore penetrates too high off the glass. Smithson got the offensive rebound for Harding, stripped away from him by Tony Hall. And the Bisons will throw it in from the baseline with 13 on the timer. In for Harding is Josh Perkins, a six foot seven junior forward from Detroit, Michigan, averaging 6.3 points and six rebounds per game. He did not play in the first meeting between these two teams. Perkins with it on the left baseline, backs Kevin Howard down into the lanes, turns and shoots. Josh Perkins, who had six points in their loss to Washita on Saturday, has his first two points of this one. And with 16.41 to go in the first half, Harding leads nine to four. The Bisons have made three out of their first five field goal attempts. Left wing man gives at the top of the key for B.J. Johnson. Now Adams catch and shoot from the right wing. Three-pointer rattles out no good, and Perkins has the defensive rebound for Harding. 16-21 to go first half. Nico Gosnell to the table for Arkansas Tech as Santiago drives. The finger roll comes up short on the layup try. Defensive rebound, Keelan Adams. Adams lost his footing and the ball in transition. It's stolen away by Romeo Harvey. Harvey for three in transition, no good. Defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech by Kevin Howard. Outlet pass for C.J. Mann. Mann over the timeline, goes to the left wing, gets a pick from Howard, dribbles right. Mann down the right side of the lane, kicks it out for Johnson. Now to Tony Hall at the top of the key. Hall left-handed dribble drive, gets to the left block, throws it out to Johnson. B.J. for three, got it. B.J. Johnson with the three-pointer from the top of the key. His first career three-pointer as a wonder boy. 15.40 to go in the first half, and the Harding lead is 9-7. to seven. Some question now as to whether that was a two or a three-point basket. The scoreboard is showing it for two. The official stats showing it for three. I thought it was pretty clearly a three. I'm not, we'll find out later. Santiago answers with a three. No doubt on that one from right of center at the top of the key. And right now we believe the score is 12-7 to seven, Harding. 15-15 to go in the first half. Next dead ball will be a media timeout and a chance to clarify the score. Left wing, C.J. Mann. Perkins hedges on the screen. Pass in the corner for Johnson. Three-pointer is good for B.J. Johnson. Two field goals in a row for Johnson. We go under 15 minutes to play in the half, and it is 12 to 10, a two-point lead for Harding. Bounce pass in the corner for Romeo Harvey. Harvey, right-handed dribble drive into the lane. Shot blocked and rebounded by Tony Hall. Hall in transition. Goes down the right side of the lane. Leaves on the baseline with Adams. He zips it to Mann. Lay it good. What a look by Keelan Adams and the finish on the other side of the floor by C.J. Mann from the left side of the hoop. And now it's looking like based on some nonverbal signals I'm seeing across the way, perhaps that was just a two earlier for B.J. Johnson. So now we're going to think the score is Harding 12, Arkansas Tech 11. Drive by Santiago. He gets to the rim and draws a foul against Arkansas Tech that will take us to a timeout on the floor. The blocking foul on the Wonder Boys is team foul number two. It is on B.J. Johnson, his first personal. 14 minutes and 21 seconds to go. First half, Harding 12, Arkansas Tech 11. Back in one minute, 
This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Feltner's Athletes Corner Sale is now in progress. Save up to 40% off selected athletic apparel by Nike, Russell Athletic, Columbia, The North Face, Adidas, and Oakley. Feltner's is closing out selected athletic footwear by Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Asics, New Balance, Brooks, and Sockney. Enjoy the comfort and quality of the best brands in athletic footwear and apparel at clearance prices at Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main. Open 930 to 6 Monday through Saturday for the spectacular savings event. All sales during this special event are final. How many times have you had to go without your heating or your air unit when you needed it most? Your family's freezing or sweating, and they look to you for relief. You call someone, and they say it's going to cost an arm and a leg to fix. Do you really feel like you have a choice? Well, now you do. Call Tony at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air at 479-964-4004 for a free second opinion from a guy you can trust to take care of you and your family and get that unit running without all the extra charges. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. The officials went to KC Darknell Russellville. Hey, hey, hey. You guys play the best country of all. River Country. Come on. KCJC. The officials went to the monitor during the timeout and confirmed that that first field goal by B.J. Johnson was a two. And so the score is Harding 12, Arkansas Tech 11, with 14-16 to go in the first half. Three-pointer on the way by a new face in the game for Harding, James Harris. His three from the left wing is no good, and Keelan Adams has the defensive rebound. In for Arkansas Tech, Nico Gosnell, 6'9", junior forward, Lone Tree, Iowa, 6.9 points, 4.5 rebounds per game, and Kamani Binder, a 6'3", junior from Orlando, Florida, 5.7 points and 2.3 rebounds per game. Feed into the post for Tony Hall. Hall, working on Romeo Harvey, lost the handle. It's stolen for Harding University by Ramiro Santiago. Santiago ahead of the fast break for Collier Blackburn. Blackburn's layup try was blocked, taking away the rebound for Arkansas Tech was Keelan Adams. And with 13.33 to go, the Wonder Boys go the other way, trailing by a single point. Left side, Adams, correction on that last one. Looked like it was blocked, but it actually apparently went through the cylinder. It looked for sure like a blocked shot, so they counted that. No, now they've taken it back off the official stats. I thought I'd gone crazy there for a moment. The scoreboard for a moment put two points up on the board for Harding, but it was clearly a blocked shot. And then on the other end, a three-pointer by Kamani Binder makes it 14 to 12. Arkansas Tech by two, and now an offensive foul on Harding. We'll give it right back to the Wonder Boys. So some good turns of fortune here for Arkansas Tech. First, the blocked shot that led to the binder three, giving the Wonder Boys their first lead of the night. And now an offensive foul on Ramiro Santiago. Santiago's first personal foul is team foul number one on the Bisons. And Arkansas Tech gets the basketball back with its 14 to 12 lead intact. Into the front court with the basketball comes Justin Briley, a 5'10 junior guard from Plano, Texas, 6.1 points per game. So it's Justin Briley, Kamani Binder, C.J. Mann, Nico Gosnell, and B.J. Johnson, the five on the floor. Jumper in the lane for Johnson, off the window, and good for B.J. Johnson. Johnson, who had not scored more than three points in any game this season, has seven points in the first seven minutes and 20 seconds, and Arkansas Tech leads 16 to 12. Romeo Harvey wants to drive on Johnson, dishes out right side for James Harris. Harris down the right side of the lane, leans in, and walks with the basketball, giving it back to Arkansas Tech. James Harris is a 5'10 junior guard from Naples, Florida, averaging 13 points and three rebounds per game, appearing in just his fourth game of the season. Harris did not play in the first meeting between these two teams. We mentioned a moment ago Collier Blackburn is in for Harding. He is a 6'4 junior guard from Bentonville, averaging 1.5 points per game. Blackburn is appearing in just his third game of the year. Binder for three, good again. Kamani Binder has two three-pointers in the early going, accounting for all six of his points. And Arkansas Tech on a 13 to nothing run now has opened up a 19 to 12 lead as we go under 12 minutes to play in the first half. Romeo Harvey left wing, bumped by Nico Gosnell hedging on a screen. The foul on Gosnell is his first, the team's third, and there's timeout on the floor. 13 straight points for the Wonder Boys They've made their last six field goal tries, and as a result, our score with 11.55 to go in the half is Arkansas Tech 19, Harding 12, back in one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball.
The right roof starts with the right roofer. That's why you should trust Miller Roofing Company. They're not just good, they're great. Miller Roofing has been serving our River Valley since 1991. Choosing an established company ensures upfront quality and back-end support for your home or business. Did you know the average roofing company lasts only four years? Mature, proven, and established companies carry the least risk. And that's what Miller Roofing's all about. Get your free estimate today by calling 479-890-3499 or visit miller-roofing.net. How can I help you? Can you turn on the porch light? I can't see anything. Sorry, I didn't get that. Ow! Mm, not every innovation is helpful. But the new ITMs at First State Bank can help you achieve your banking needs at the push of a button. Interact with local tellers, cash a check, and more right from your car. Plus, ITMs are open weekdays from 7 to 7. To learn more about First State Bank's new innovative services, go to fsbitm.com. We have a lead change atop the Great American Conference Eastern Division men's basketball standings. A final score from Magnolia, UA Monticello 78 and Southern Arkansas 69 as the Bull Weevils move a half game in front of the Mule Riders for first place in the GAC Eastern Division with the end of the regular season just 19 days away. Harding with the basketball here in Russellville. Arkansas Tech leading 19-12 in a matchup of two teams that are 3-5 and five in conference play. Harvey tries a three. It is good. He cuts the Arkansas Tech lead in half. I apologize. Cuts it down to four, I should say, at 19-15. And it's a four-point lead for Arkansas Tech. Justin Briley, B.J. Johnson, C.J. Mann, Nico Gosnell, and Kamani Binder are the five on the floor. The Wonder Boys have made six consecutive field goal attempts. Briley to the rim. Offensive foul. He runs over the Harding defender there to take the charge for the Bisons was Tyler Moore. The foul on Briley is his first, team foul number four. And bringing it into the front court for Harding will be Dorian Benkovic. Benkovic, Romeo Harvey, Stetson Smithson, Tyler Moore, and James Harris are the five contestants for the Bisons. Left wing, pass in the corner for Harris now. He throws it back out to Harvey. Harvey wants a ball screen from Tyler Moore, gets it, dribbles into the left corner, hands it off to Harris, three-pointer is no good. Defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech by C.J. Mann. Mann dribbles to the left wing on the offensive end, now to the top of the key, wants to drive on Benkovic, gets to the rim, lays it in, and a foul on Dorian Benkovic. And it'll be a three-point play opportunity for Arkansas Tech's C.J. Mann. They call the foul on Romeo Harvey who was providing the help defense and reached in to, to commit that foul. C.J. Mann to the free throw line in search of his seventh point of the first half. It is good. Mann's first trip to the free throw line today, first free throw by a Wonder Boy tonight, in fact. The Wonder Boys came in shooting 65.5% from the free throw line, 10th among the 12 members of the GAC. Tech by seven now following the C.J. Mann three-point play. Man replaced in the Arkansas Tech lineup by Keelan Adams. Left wing, Stetson Smithson, thought about a three, instead dribbles to the left baseline and misses a 17-foot jumper. Defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech by Keelan Adams. Adams already with five rebounds here tonight. Briley into the front court for Arkansas Tech, dribbles to the top of the key, passes left corner for Binder. Binder fakes the three, drives, and draws a blocking foul on Ramiro Santiago. That is two on Santiago. And Coach Jeff Morgan will make a move as he will get Romeo Harvey and Josh Perkins back into the game in place of Santiago and Tyler Moore. And the Wonder Boys will throw it in from the near sideline. Keelan Adams will throw it in. Keelan had a career-high 24 points in a losing effort at UA Monticello on Saturday. He lobs it into the backcourt for Justin Briley. Now Briley brings it back over the timeline. Defended on the right wing by Benkovic. Pass to Binder, Binder fakes the three, penetrates into the lane, hangs, shoots from nine feet, no good, and Perkins has the defensive rebound for Harding. Outlet pass for Romeo Harvey. Harvey goes to the right wing, gets down the right baseline, and a blocking foul is called against Arkansas Tech's Keelan Adams. Adams picks up his first, team foul number five. Tony Hall is in, and B.J. Johnson will get a breather for Arkansas Tech. What a start it's been for B.J. Johnson, seven points, all of which came in the first seven minutes and 20 seconds of this first half. 
A whistle before the inbound pass. As the official wanted to check and make sure that James Harris was okay. He had reason for concern. It appears as if everyone is okay, and we will continue feeding down low for Stetson Smithson. Smithson cutting to the basket, and Perkins hit him with a perfect feed. Smithson's layup cut the, cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 22-17. to 17. Five points now for Stetson Smithson. Smithson had a season-high 21 points when the Bisons beat the UAM Bull Weevils 79-69 to on Thursday. Now poked away from Nico Gosnell, and James Harris makes the steal for Harding. Harris in transition finds Harvey. Had trouble making the catch. Now he's got it. Harvey wants to drive, gets into the lane, and it's poked away by Keelan Adams, stolen by Binder. Back to Adams on the run out, and he stuffs it through with two hands. Keelan Adams with the slam dunk in transition, and with 9.16 to go in the half, it's 24 to 17, Wonder Boys by seven. This matches the largest lead so far for Arkansas Tech. Romeo Harvey with it in the right corner, throws it out to Benkovich. Benkovich had five points, a rebound, an assist, and three steals in the first matchup between Arkansas Tech and Harding. Harris drives, floats, Gives it up at the rim for Smithson. Smithson takes it out of midair and lays it in. Stetson Smithson is three of five from the field. He has seven points. 8.41 to go in the half. Wonder Boys by five. To the basket goes Gosnell, and he lays it up and in over Josh Perkins. Nico Gosnell's first two points of the night give Arkansas Tech a 26-19 to 19 lead with 8.24 to go now until halftime. Feed down low for Perkins. Perkins faces up on the left baseline. Now he wants to back Gosnell down. Throws it out to Smithson. Three-pointer good. Stetson Smithson is feeling it. He's got 10 points. And with 8-12 to go in the half, the former two-time All-State performer at Bald Knob High School has drawn Harding within four points of the lead at 26-22. Drive by Briley. Throws it out left wing for Adams onto an open Tony Hall. Fakes the three. Drives. And a block or a reach in foul against Harding will take us to a timeout on the floor. The foul is on Dorian Benkovich. It is his first personal foul, team foul number four. Timeout on the floor, 7.53 to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech 26, Harding 22. We pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Maybe you're moving some dirt around the house, got jobs to do. Well, maybe you don't have what you need. River Valley Tractor has it, and they have great prices and great people. They treat people like you would expect to treat family. Kubota has you covered. Construction equipment, farm equipment, zero-turn mowers. Go by today and see the family at River Valley Tractor, 702 Weir Road in Russellville. Call them today at 968-3795. That's 968-3795. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home styled lunch and of course serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud old south restaurants on main street in russellville we're here for you we're here for you so come on by old south arkansas tech has made nine of its last 10 field goal attempts shooting 69 percent so far for the game and the Wonder Boys lead Harding 26 to 22 with 7.53 to go until the intermission. Harding is eight of 18 from the field, 44% overall, but four out of seven, 57% from beyond the arc. Romeo Harvey and Stetson Smithson have made two three-pointers apiece for the Bisons. Tony Hall at the free throw line for Arkansas Tech following the under eight media timeout. His first free throw is no good, Tony now 15 of 22 at the free throw line this year. Hall had 11 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists in the Wonder Boys double overtime win at Harding back on January 25th. He makes the second free throw. 7.53 remaining first half, 27 to 22. Wonder Boys by 5 on Tony Hall's first point of the night. Romeo Harvey gives at the top of the key for Perkins. Pass right wing for Stetson Smithson. Tony Hall with the defense on him, two eyes on the basketball. 17 on the shot clock. Smithson dribbles to the right wing. 
Hands it off to James Harris. Lob pass down low is intercepted by Keelan Adams. Harding turns it over for the fourth time. The two sides are now even in that regard. C.J. Mann dribbles at the top of the key. Gets by Smithson, and Smithson has to put two hands on him to prevent a layup. The foul on Stetson Smithson is his first personal foul. Team foul number five. And Arkansas Tech will throw it in from the baseline. B.J. Johnson in. Kamani Binder out for Arkansas Tech. For Harding, Collier Blackburn is back in place of Ramiro Santiago. C.J. Mann throws it in right wing for Keelan Adams. Back to Mann now in the right corner. C.J. dribbles up to the top of the key, hands it back to Adams. 16 to shoot. Pass for B.J. Johnson on the left wing. Johnson uses his dribble, takes it to the top of the key, passes right wing for Keelan Adams. Post entry feed for Kevin Howard. Howard works on Perkins. Dishes back out for Mann. Mann bobbled it, got it back, shoots from 30 feet, and it does not draw iron. And then a shot clock violation before Keelan Adams could get the putback try away. The Wonder Boys turn it over for the fifth time. And it will be Romeo Harvey to bring it into the front court for Harding. Harvey had 24 points, five rebounds, and five assists in the first meeting between these two teams. He was an honorable mention. All GAC pick a year ago was Romeo Harvey when he averaged 20.9 points per game. Stetson Smithson turned it over. He stepped on the far sideline. And once again, the two sides are even in turnovers. On this occasion, it is at five apiece. C.J. Mann, Tony Hall, Kevin Howard, Keelan Adams, and B.J. Johnson are the five contestants for Arkansas Tech. 6.41 to go first half. Wonder Boys leading 27-22. Three-pointer good from the right wing for C.J. Mann. The Wonder Boys have made 10 of their last 12 field goal attempts. And now Harding, in too big of a hurry, throws it away as Romeo Harvey's pass intended in the left corner for James Harris goes sailing away. And the Wonder Boys get it back with 6.30 to go until halftime. In for the first time for Harding is Tyler Roth, a six foot one senior guard from Fayetteville. Roth is appearing in his first game of the season for the Bisons. C.J. Mann passes right wing for Keelan Adams. Poked away from him by Roth, out of bounds. Arkansas Tech will maintain with 18 to shoot. Six minutes, 18 seconds left in the first half. The Wonder Boys lead 30 to 22. C.J. Mann receives the inbound pass, hands it back to Keelan Adams. Adams left-handed dribble, gets into the paint, stops at the free throw line, shoots and misses off to the left. B.J. Johnson's tip-in try will not go. Offensive rebound, Hall. Hall feeds it down low for Howard. Howard zips it back out to Johnson. B.J. tries a three-pointer and scores. B.J. Johnson with his second three-pointer. He is four out of four from the field. Ten points for B.J. Johnson. Coming into tonight, B.J. Johnson had scored five points the entire season. Three-pointer, no good for Stetson Smithson. Offensive rebound by Perkins. Perkins out to Blackburn. Three-pointer, no good. Offensive rebound, Smithson. Put-back try blocked by Howard. Tony Hall able to deflect the loose ball off of Roth and out of bounds. And Arkansas Tech will have it up by 11 with 5.36 to go. What a first half for B.J. Johnson. Out of El Dorado, he spent a redshirt year with Coach Downey at Northeastern State University last year and then transferred to Arkansas Tech when Coach Downey came back to us here in Russellville. C.J. Mann brings it into the front court, hands it off to Keelan Adams. Now Johnson makes a catch at the top of the key, hands it off to Mann, and away from the ball, we've got an illegal screen set by Arkansas Tech. Tony Hall admits his guilt although he wasn't the guilty party. They end up calling on Keelan Adams instead. It is Adams' second personal foul. And Kamani Binder is in in place of Keelan. So it's Kamani Binder, B.J. Johnson, Kevin Howard, Tony Hall, and C.J. Mann. The five on the floor for Arkansas Tech. Tyler Roth, Tyler Moore, James Harris, Collier Blackburn, and Stetson Smithson are the five for Harding. Moore receives the post-entry feed but can't get the turnaround jumper to go from six feet Tony Hall has the defensive rebound. Into the front court come the Wonder Boys. Binder, defended by Blackburn, spins around him and gets to the basket to draw a foul. It'll be two free throws for Kamani Binder. The foul on Harding is on Stetson Smithson, his second personal foul. Team foul number six. And Binder to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Kamani on the season is nine out of ten at the free throw line. Goes to that familiar pre-shot routine with the ball going behind the back. 
Now the first of his two free throws is no good. Binder had eight points at UA Monticello on Saturday. Six out of 12 from the field over his last three coming into this one. And so far tonight, he's two out of three from the field, including two for two from three-point range. Missed the first free throw, the second try for Kamani Binder on its way, and good. Binder gets his seventh point of the first half, one away from matching his season high for scoring. And as we go under five minutes to play in the first half, Arkansas Tech leads 34 to 22. This is the largest late lead so far for Arkansas Tech. Blackburn out on the left wing for James Harris, and Harris commits the offensive foul, running over Kamani Binder. I don't have the official number in front of me, but Kamani Binder no doubt leads the Wonder Boys in charges taken this year. That's something he started doing from the very first night he joined the active roster, and has just kept on doing it. The foul on James Harris, his first. And the Wonder Boys have it with 4.41 to go in the half. Justin Briley is back in. It's Briley, Kevin Howard, C.J. Mann, Kamani Binder, and B.J. Johnson. Feed at the high post for Johnson. He turns to go to the basket. Cut off by Tyler Roth. Pass goes left corner for Mann. Three-pointer no good. Defensive rebound by Romeo Harvey of Harding. Harvey over the timeline. Checked by Briley. Gets a pick. Drives. Dishes for Roth. Roth left-handed dribble. Passes back out front for Harvey. Harvey jump stop in the right side of the lane and a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. The foul is against B.J. Johnson. It is his second personal foul. Team foul number seven is the announcement from the far sideline, and so it'll be a one and one for Romeo Harvey. Harvey two out of two at the free throw line so far tonight. He has eight points in the game. Harvey came into the night second in the league in scoring, fourth in free throw percentage, and fourth in three-point field goals made. The front end of the one and one for the senior from Albany, Georgia, is good. He will have another try. I remember traveling to his hometown of Albany, Georgia for an NCAA Division II playoff game back in 2004 that the Wonder Boys played in in the second round of the NCAA Division II playoffs. They had yet to finish their press box, and so I sat on the top of the press box in a pouring down rain that day, not my favorite memory from all these years on the road. Harvey went one out of two at the free throw line, also not a happy outcome on the scoreboard that day, by the way. Top of the key, C.J. Mann with it. Wonder Boys up by 11 with the ball. Under four minutes to play in the half. Mann dribbles past Harvey, gets into the lane, shoots and misses from 10 feet. Rebound out of bounds, last touched by Kevin Howard. And there is timeout at Tucker Coliseum. Three minutes and 45 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 34, Harding 23 here in the first half from Russellville. We pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys basketball. There are so many places to buy a vehicle and so many brands to choose from. Here at Phil Ryan Auto Place, we're proud of our River Valley roots. And every day, we're providing families with safe, dependable vehicles from Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Toyota. We were founded at a time your handshake was as good as your word. Since then, the vehicles have changed and the people have aged. But we're still the same families we were back then. Come experience why so many families are trusting Phil Ryan Auto Place here in Russellville. Our shop is online at philwright.com. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. Three minutes and 45 seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech 34, Harding 23. The Wonder Boys built the lead with some good shooting and now protecting it with some good defense, forcing Harding to miss four consecutive field goal attempts and forcing the Bisons into four turnovers over the last four and a half minutes. Arkansas Tech with a 13 to nothing edge in points off turnovers Flipping that script from what has typically been the story for Arkansas Tech. 
for much of this season. Dorian Benkovich with the basketball for Harding. Passes left wing for Ramiro Santiago. Feed into the post for Josh Perkins. Back out to Romeo Harvey. Deep three from the left wing is short, no good. C.J. Mann couldn't collect the defensive rebound, but Nico Gosnell could, and Arkansas Tech will go the other way. Justin Briley, Nico Gosnell, C.J. Mann, Tony Hall, and Kamani Binder are the five for Arkansas Tech. 3.07 to go in the half. Wonder Boys by 11. Bounce pass from Briley to Mann on the right wing. He feeds it into the low post for Nico Gosnell. Gosnell works on Perkins. Spins, ball fake, goes up, lost the handle, stolen by Ramiro Santiago. Santiago ahead to Harvey, Harvey to the rim, goes into the air, collides with Justin Briley in an awkward play. The ball goes out of bounds, and it was apparently last touched by Arkansas Tech. That was just really strange. Harvey went up as if he was going to try the, the layup there. He and Briley collided in midair. Harvey never made an attempt to shoot the ball, and it went out of bounds off of Briley. Inbound for Harris. Harris goes down the baseline, throws it out to the top of the key for Benkovic. Benkovic gives it the high post for Perkins. Back out to Santiago. Santiago tries a three and hits it. Ramiro Santiago with his first three points of the night. He had 35 points against Arkansas Tech back in January. And here with 2.29 to go in the half, he cuts the Arkansas Tech lead down to eight, 34-26. Top of the key, Briley. Passes left wing for Tony Hall. Hall tries to answer the three with one of his own, but it's no good. Offensive rebound, Briley. He gives to Mann. C.J. for three. Count it. Nothing but net from the top of the key for C.J. Mann. And with 2.08 to go until the intermission, the Wonder Boys lead is back into double figures at 37-26. to C.J. Mann with 13 first-half points. He's five out of nine from the field. Perkins backs Gosnell down, shoots over him, and scores. Perkins from the right block. Gets his second field goal of the night. Four points, three rebounds, three assists for Perkins. And it's 37-28, Wonder Boys by nine. A minute 41 left in the half. Tony Hall drives, spins at the right elbow, kicks it out to Briley. Left wing three is no good. Rebound, Romeo Harvey of Harding University. Harvey with a burst of speed into the front court. Leaves it with the trailer, Benkovic. And as he tries to drive, a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. The foul is on C.J. Mann, his first, team foul number eight, and so it'll be a one-and-one -one opportunity for Benkovic. Benkovic has yet to score tonight. He has one rebound and an assist. He is five of eight, 63% at the free throw line this year. He makes the front end of the one-and-one -and, -one and earns a second opportunity. One minute, 27 seconds to go, first half. Harding with that make, now three out of... I should say now four out of five at the free throw line tonight. Make it four of six as Benkovic misses the second one and Tony Hall gets the defensive rebound. A minute 20 left until halftime. Arkansas Tech with the ball and a 37 to 29 lead. Binder, post entry feed for Tony Hall. Turnaround jumper from eight feet away, no good. Perkins got the defensive rebound. Ahead to James Harris. Harris throws it in the corner. They dump it into the post for Perkins. Perkins works on Gosnell. Dishes back out to Harvey. Harvey drives the baseline. Circles all the way around to the top of the key. Passes right wing for Benkovic. Benkovic gives to Harris. Harris steps back for three. It is good for James Harris. Harris gets his first three points of the night. He had 18 points against Washita on Saturday. And Harris came in averaging 17 points per game over his last two. Kick ball in the backcourt committed by Harding. And the Wonder Boys will keep it with 23 on the shot clock and 39.9 seconds remaining in the half. Tony Hall, C.J. Mann, Kamani Binder, Nico Gosnell, and Justin Briley are the five for Arkansas Tech. Briley drives to the rim and lays it in. Briley got a step on his defender off the inbounds play and Harding never recovered defensively. Two points for Binder, 39-32 Arkansas Tech here in the waning moments of the opening half. Benkovic with it on the right wing. Looks to the right baseline, gives to Perkins, and an offensive foul. Nico Gosnell draws the offensive foul on Josh Perkins. Perkins called for his first, and the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech, and the Wonder Boys will burn their use-it-or-lose-it timeout. Back in 30 seconds, this is Arkansas Tech basketball.
Hey guys, this is Carl Kirtley with Centennial Bank. Now more than ever, Centennial Bank is proud to cheer all the student athletes in the River Valley. Centennial Bank believes the teachers, administrators, and staff of our local schools help make our communities great, and we applaud their persistent preparation and hard work during these difficult times. Centennial Bank invites you to be a part of this great tradition and show your support this season. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. 18.4 seconds remaining in the first half. Arkansas Tech 39, Harding 32. Wonder Boy shooting 52% from the floor. Harding has made three consecutive field goal attempts now to get its percentage up over 40%. We'll take a full look at the numbers at halftime. 39-32, Wonder Boys with the ball and a seven-point lead. Justin Briley, Tony Hall, C.J. Mann, Kamani Binder, and Nico Gosnell for this final possession of the half. Briley brings it over the timeline. He'll be checked by Collier Blackburn. I should say by Dorian Benkovich, my apologies. Pass to the right wing for Gosnell. Back to Briley on a give and go. Lay up good with 2.6 seconds left in the half. Now Harvey from 70 feet at the buzzer. No good off to the right. And our score after 20 minutes at John E. Tucker Coliseum in Russellville is Arkansas Tech 41, Harding 32 back in three minutes. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Feltner's Athletes Corner Sale is now in progress. Save up to 40% off selected athletic apparel by Nike, Russell Athletic, Columbia, The North Face, Adidas, and Oakley. Feltner's is closing out selected athletic footwear by Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Asics, New Balance, Brooks, and Sockney. Enjoy the comfort and quality of the best brands in athletic footwear and apparel at clearance prices at Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, open 930 to 6, Monday through Saturday for the spectacular savings event. All sales during this special event are final. How many times have you had to go without your heating or your air unit when you needed it most? Your family's freezing or sweating, and they look to you for relief. You call someone, and they say it's going to cost an arm and a leg to fix. Do you really feel like you have a choice? Well, now you do. Call Tony at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air at 479-964-4004. Over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you. So come on by, old South. Arkansas Tech leads Harding 41 to 32 at halftime in Great American Conference men's basketball tonight at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Let's take a look at the numbers so far. Harding is 11 of 26 from the field, 42 percent. 
including six of 12, 50% from three-point range, and the Bisons have converted four of their six free throw attempts. That is 67%. Arkansas Tech, 16 of 30 from the field, 53%. Six of 13, 46% from three point. And the Wonder Boys, three out of five, 60% at the free throw line. The Wonder Boys are out rebounding the Bisons, 17 to 13. Harding with five assists and eight turnovers. Arkansas Tech with 10 assists and six turnovers. And one of the key numbers in this game is the fact the Wonder Boys have a 15 to nothing edge in points off turnovers, a dramatically different story from several recent games for the Wonder Boys, including Saturday, when they had a 20 to nine deficit in points off turnovers against UA Monticello. And the Wonder Boys have been able to reverse that story here tonight. And as a result, Arkansas Tech leads by nine at halftime. Individual leaders, first for Harding, Stetson Smithson has 10 points, nine points for Romeo Harvey, Four points at halftime for Josh Perkins to go along with four rebounds and three assists. Ramiro Santiago and James Harris have three points each for Harding. Tyler Moore has two points and one point for Dorian Benkovic. Arkansas Tech led by C.J. Mann with 13 points. He has hit two three-pointers, as has B.J. Johnson. Johnson with 10 points at halftime, also two three-pointers in that first half for Kamani Binder. Binder has seven points at the intermission, four points for Justin Briley, four points and five rebounds for Keelan Adams. Nico Gosnell has two points, and Tony Hall with one point, four rebounds, and three assists. Kevin Howard has not scored yet, but he does have three rebounds and two assists. Wonder Boys by nine at halftime. We step aside for three minutes and then take a look at the GAC scoreboard this is Arkansas Tech Basketball. There are so many places to buy a vehicle and so many brands to choose from. Here at Philron Auto Place, we're proud of our River Valley roots. And every day, we're providing families with safe, dependable vehicles from Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Toyota. We were founded at a time your handshake was as good as your word. Since then, the vehicles have changed and the people have aged. Well, we're still the same families we were back then. Come experience why so many families are trusting Phil Wright Autoplex here in Russellville. Our shop is online at philwright.com. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service. We're more than just tires. Consistent, responsive, honest and fair. What makes us different? We're the ones who care. Trust our experience to know what you need. Professional. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. Hey guys, this is Carl Kirtley with Centennial Bank. Now more than ever, Centennial Bank is proud to cheer all the student athletes in the River Valley. Centennial Bank believes the teachers, administrators, and staff of our local schools help make our communities great, and we applaud their persistence, preparation, and hard work during these difficult times. Centennial Bank invites you to be a part of this great tradition and show your support this season. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Feltner's Athletes Corner Sale is now in progress. Save up to 40% off selected athletic apparel by Nike, Russell Athletic, Columbia, The North Face, Adidas, and Oakley. Feltner's is closing out selected athletic footwear by Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Asics, New Balance, Brooks, and Sockney. Enjoy the comfort and quality of the best brands in athletic footwear and apparel at clearance prices. At Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, open 930 to 6, Monday through Saturday for the spectacular savings event. All sales during this special event are final. How many times have you had to go without your heating or your air unit when you needed it most? Your family's freezing or sweating, and they look to you for relief. You call someone, and they say it's going to cost an arm and a leg to fix. Do you really feel like you have a choice? Well, now you do. Call Tony at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air at 479-964-4004 for a free second opinion from a guy you can trust to take care of you and your family and get that unit running without all the extra charges. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. 
The right roof starts with the right roofer. That's why you should trust Miller Roofing Company. They're not just good, they're great. Miller Roofing has been serving our River Valley since 1991. Choosing an established company ensures upfront quality and back-end support for your home or business. Did you know the average roofing company lasts only four years? Mature, proven, and established companies carry the least risk. And that's what Miller Roofing's all about. Get your free estimate today by calling 479-890-3499 or visit miller-roofing.net. Back with you at Tucker Coliseum, Arkansas Tech leading Harding 41-32 to in tonight's men's game. Let's take a look at what else is going on in Great American Conference basketball, beginning with earlier tonight in women's play, as it was the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns ranked 19th in the nation, improving to 8-0 overall, 7-0 in the Great American Conference with a 67-56 win over Harding. Nikki Metcalf tying the Golden Suns single game record for blocked shots with 11 matching the mark set by Cindy Patton almost 32 years ago. And that 11 block shot figure had stood unchallenged until tonight when Nikki Metcalf blocked 11 shots in an 11 point Golden Suns victory. Henderson State beat Washita Baptist 71 to 61. The Ready Women improving to three and five overall and three and four in the GAC. The Reddies are in third place in the women's GAC Eastern Division right behind Harding, which is in second place. The Lady Bisons, with their loss to Arkansas Tech tonight, fall two and a half games off the Golden Suns' pace in the GAC Eastern Division. And we are just now within about 19 days of the end of the regular season. And so the Golden Suns with a commanding lead right now in the GAC Eastern Division. Washita, with its loss tonight to Henderson State, fell to 0-2 overall and 0-2 in the league. Over in the GAC Western Division in women's basketball play earlier tonight, Southern Nazarene defeated Oklahoma Baptist 72-60. Southern Nazarene evening its overall and conference record at 5-5, five five, while Oklahoma Baptist continues to struggle 2-12 and overall and 1-11 and in the league. Southeastern Oklahoma State rallied late to beat East Central 58-49. Southeastern improves to 8-5 and five overall and in the league. East Central falls to 8-4 and four overall and in the league. The Tigers a half game in front of Southeastern for second place in the GAC Western Division. Southwestern Oklahoma State continues to set the pace in the GAC West. The Lady Bulldogs 11-1 and one overall, 11-1 and one in the conference. And one has to wonder if the Golden Suns and the Lady Bulldogs who have staged so many memorable meetings during this Great American Conference era, if they might be on a collision course for March 7th and the GAC Tournament championship game. Taking a look at scores from GAC men's basketball tonight, we have one final score. UA Monticello and Southern Arkansas's men got an early start because there was no women's game there tonight and UA Monticello moved into sole possession of first place in the GAC Eastern Division on the men's side as the Bull Weevils took down the Mule Riders 78 to 69. Games in progress at this hour in Arkadelphia Henderson State has a 30 to 20 halftime lead over Washita Baptist. In Durant, Southeastern Oklahoma State's men ahead of East Central, 43 to 36. And in the most surprising score of the night so far, Oklahoma Baptist, which came into the night in first place in the GAC Western Division. Well, the Bison are struggling tonight on the road in Bethany. It's Southern Nazarene with a 33 to 19 lead over Oklahoma Baptist. Here it's the Wonder Boys by nine, 41 to 32, back in three minutes with the second half. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. How can I help you? Can you turn on the porch light? I can't see anything. Sorry, I didn't get that. Ow! Mm, not every innovation is helpful. But the new ITMs at First State Bank can help you achieve your banking needs at the push of a button. Interact with local tellers, cash a check, and more right from your car. Plus, ITMs are open weekdays from 7 to 7. To learn more about First State Bank's new innovative services, go to fsbitm.com. Maybe you're moving some dirt around the house. Got jobs to do. Well, maybe you don't have what you need. River Valley Tractor has it, and they have great prices and great people. They treat people like you would expect to treat family. 
Kubota has you covered. Construction equipment, farm equipment, zero-turn mowers. Go by today and see the family at River Valley Tractor, 702 Weir Road in Russellville. Call them today at 968-3795. That's 968-3795. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you. So come on by Old South. There are so many places to buy a vehicle and so many brands to choose from. Here at Phil Ryan Auto Place, we're proud of our River Valley roots. And every day, we're providing families with safe, dependable vehicles from Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Toyota. We were founded at a time your handshake was as good as your word. Since then, the vehicles have changed and the people have aged. Well, we're still the same families we were back then. Come experience why so many families are trusting Phil Ryan Auto Place here in Russellville. Our shop is online at philwright.com. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. Hey guys, this is Carl Kirtley with Centennial Bank. Now more than ever, Centennial Bank is proud to cheer all the student athletes in the River Valley. Centennial Bank believes the teachers, administrators, and staff of our local schools help make our communities great. And we applaud their persistence, preparation, and hard work during these difficult times. Centennial Bank invites you to be a part of this great tradition and show your support this season. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Arkansas Tech 41, Harding 32 with 20 minutes of regulation basketball remaining here tonight at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Glad you're with us tonight on River Country KCJC. And ArkansasTechSports.com, we will join you again on Thursday night from Bill Vining Arena in Arkadelphia as it'll be Arkansas Tech against Washita Baptist for a doubleheader as Coach Wilbur's referenced earlier it will be the golden sun's first game against the washita lady tigers this year arkansas tech will have the basketball to begin the second half tony hall cj mann bj johnson keelan adams and nico gosnell will begin the second half for arkansas tech for harding it'll be dorian benkovich romeo harvey Stetson Smithson, Tyler Moore, and Ramiro Santiago. Left wing, C.J. Mann throws it to the top of the key for B.J. Johnson. Johnson had a career-high 10 points in the first half alone. Drive by Keelan Adams, can't get the floater from the right baseline to go. Santiago with it in transition for the Bisons. It goes out front for Stetson Smithson. Smithson dribbles right, defended by Johnson, hands it off to Santiago. Santiago penetrates, gives back to Smithson for three. It is good from the right corner for Stetson Smithson with 19.27 to go. He cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 41 to 35. Smithson with his third three-pointer of the night. He has 13 points. Mann steps back for three. It's no good off the back lip. Boy, that one looked good in the air. Rebound, Keelan Adams saves it for Arkansas Tech. Ball goes to Hall and Tony lays it in. Tony Hall with the layup created by the hustle play by Keelan Adams on the offensive rebound, and it's 43-35, Arkansas Tech. First field goal of the night for Tony Hall. Zip pass from Santiago down low to Moore. Moore had a bit of trouble gathering it. That gave the defense chance to recover, and it results in a foul against Arkansas Tech. Foul on Nico Gosnell, his second. Team foul number one this half, and Tyler Moore to the free throw line for the first time tonight for Harding. The first try is on its way and short, no good for Tyler Moore. Moore with that miss, now five of nine at the free throw line this year. James Harris replaces Dorian Benkovich in the Harding lineup. Now the second try for Moore as he seeks his third point of the night and gets it. 18.51 to go. 
Wonder Boys lead 43-36. Arkansas Tech has led ever since the 13-16 mark of the first half. Drive down the left baseline by Keelan Adams. He lays it up and in. Santiago unable to stay in front of Keelan. And Adams' layup puts the Wonder Boys lead at nine. Now right wing Smithson has it for Harding. They feed it down low for Moore. Back out to James Harris. To the top of the key for Santiago. Santiago wanted to drive, cut off, throws it out left side for Stetson Smithson. No good from three this time. Offensive rebound, Harris. Harris draws contact, banks it home, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. The foul on Arkansas Tech is team foul number one. The personal foul assessed to Tony Hall, his second. And James Harris to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Harris, 16 of 19, 84% at the free throw line this year. His free throw is on its way, and it is good. James Harris has six points. And with 18-14 to go, it's 45-39. The Wonder Boys lead back down to six. C.J. Mann defended by Harris at the top of the key, gets it back from Tony Hall. Mann dribbles left, passes across the top of the key to Hall. Now Johnson takes a feed. Johnson dribbles left, bounce pass inside the arc for Gosnell. Gosnell, 18 feet from the basket, throws it back out to Adams. Keelan Adams drives to the baseline, had it stripped away, got it back, double teamed, cross court to Johnson. Johnson just has to fling it up at the shot clock buzzer. It's no good. Harding got the rebound. Santiago ahead to Harris. Layup good in transition for James Harris. He has eight points. A fast start to the half for Harding, and it's 45-41. The Wonder Boys lead, which was nine at halftime, is down to four. Harding has made three of its first four field goal attempts to begin the second half. Gosnell with it on the left baseline for Arkansas Tech. Dishes out for Keelan Adams. Adams goes right, throws it in the right corner for B.J. Johnson. Back to Adams. Adams looking for a backdoor cut by Mann, but it was well defended. Adams dribbles left instead, throws to Hall in the corner. Tony feeds it down low for Adams. Adams' layup try was short, no good at the shot clock buzzer, and James Harris gets the defensive rebound for Harding. We've got 17 minutes left in Russellville. Wonder Boys by four. Santiago catch and shoot for three. Good from the right wing for Ramiro Santiago. His second three-pointer, accounting for all six of his points. And Harding has rattled off eight unanswered points over the last minute and a half to cut the Wonder Boys' lead to a single point. Three consecutive made field goals for the Bisons. Harding now four out of five from the field to begin the second half. Hall down the left baseline, jump stop in the lane, kicks it out to Adams. Three-pointer right corner, good for Keelan Adams. Adams stops Harding's 8-0 run by draining the three-pointer. Adams gets his first three-pointer of the night. He's got nine points in all to go along with six rebounds. Four out of eight from the field tonight for the senior from Pearland, Texas. Tyler Moore's jumper from the left baseline, no good. Nico Gosnell forced the miss, and Tony Hall rebounded it for Arkansas Tech. Into the front court, man hands it off to Hall. Hall drives down the right side of the lane, lost the handle, stolen by Stetson Smithson. Smithson over the timeline. Gets by Adams, gives to Harris. James Harris dribbles left into the lane, feeds it down low for Moore. Moore's shot blocked, but a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech, and Tyler Moore will shoot two free throws upon our return. The foul on B.J. Johnson is his third. 15 minutes and 47 seconds left. Arkansas Tech 48, Harding 44, back in one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Beltner's Athletes Corner Sale is now in progress. Save up to 40% off selected athletic apparel by Nike, Russell Athletic, Columbia, The North Face, Adidas, and Oakley. Beltner's is closing out selected athletic footwear by Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Asics, New Balance, Brooks, and Sockney. Enjoy the comfort and quality of the best brands in athletic footwear and apparel at clearance prices at Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, open 930 to 6, Monday through Saturday for the spectacular savings event. All sales during this special event are final. How many times have you had to go without your heating or your air unit when you needed it most? Your family's freezing or sweating and they look to you for relief. You call someone and they say it's going to cost an arm and a leg to fix. Do you really feel like you have a choice? Well, now you do. Call Tony at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air at 479-964-4004 for a free second opinion from a guy you can trust to take care of you and your family and get that unit running without all the extra charges. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. 
15 minutes and 47 seconds to go. Second half, Arkansas Tech 48, Harding 44. Tony Hall, Kevin Howard, C.J. Mann, B.J. Johnson, and Kamani Binder break the huddle for Arkansas Tech. For Harding, it's Collier Blackburn, Romeo Harvey, Tyler Moore, Ramiro Santiago, and James Harris. And if Harris, or I should say if Moore, if Tyler Moore is successful on his second free throw try, he will be replaced. First free throw is good. He will have another try. Fourth point of the game for Moore. And again, I remind myself that no person can be replaced. They can only be succeeded. The second try he is no good, so he will stay in the game. And Tony Hall has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. 15 minutes and 42 seconds left in this one. Wonder Boys up by three, but Harding on the comeback trail. C.J. Mann defended at the top of the key by Ramiro Santiago. Gets a pick from Howard. Goes right. Bounce pass on the pick and roll to Howard. The pass is off target. The ball is out of bounds. And it goes to Harding with 15.29 to go. The Wonder Boys commit their eighth turnover of the night. And the two sides are tied up in that category. Harvey over the timeline for Harding. Gives top of the key for Josh Perkins, who now does indeed succeed Tyler Moore in the lineup. They feed it back down low to Perkins on a pass from James Harris. And he's pushed and fouled from behind. The Wonder Boys have committed four fouls in the first four minutes and 42 seconds of this second half. And that, as has been pointed out on previous occasions, is not a sustainable pace. The Bisons will throw it in from the baseline. Inbound right wing for Collier Blackburn. The Bentonville product dribbles out and throws it near midcourt for Romeo Harvey. Now a pass in the corner for Harris. Three-pointer to tie is good for James Harris. It comes at the 15.08 mark. It ties the score at 48, and it marks the first time since fairly early in the first half that the Wonder Boys have not held the lead. Tony Hall, top of the key, passes left wing for B.J. Johnson. In the corner for Mann. Binder makes a catch on the left wing. Pass is intercepted by Santiago, and Ramiro Santiago with a clear path to the basket lays it up and in, and for the first time since it was 12 to 11, Harding is in the lead. Now it's 50 to 48 Bisons. Harding is on a 14 to three run over the last three and a half minutes, including the last six points. Arkansas Tech has committed three turnovers in the last minute and 45 seconds. Kevin Howard hands it off to C.J. Mann. Mann dribbles right, tried to hand it off for B.J. Johnson, but a whistle and a moving screen on that handoff. C.J. Mann is the guilty party, his second personal foul. And the basketball goes back to Harding. Bisons have made five out of their last six attempts from the field. A chance for them to add to their 14-3 run over about the last four minutes. It is a run that has turned what was a nine-point Arkansas Tech lead into a two-point Harding lead. Left corner, Santiago, three-pointer is in and out, no good. Perkins tips the rebound to himself. Now he goes back up with it, off the window, and good for Josh Perkins and the Bisons playing with a considerable amount of energy right now. They lead 52-48. Make it a 16-3 run now for Harding. Can the Wonder Boys weather the storm? Briley, defended by James Harris. Dribbles up to the top of the key. Gives it left wing to Binder. Three-pointer on the way and good for Kamani Binder. A new season high for Binder. He's into double figures for the first time as a Wonder Boy. And he cuts the Harding lead to 52-51. Ten points for Binder. That's his third three-pointer in as many attempts here tonight. Santiago dribbles into the left corner, chased by Kevin Howard, throws it out to the top of the key for Romeo Harvey. 13 on the timer. Harvey throws it across the top of the key for James Harris. Harris penetrates to the free throw line, poked away and stolen by Kamani Binder. Binder into the front court, goes to the right wing, defended by Romeo Harvey. Throws it cross court for Hall. Wide open three is good for Tony Hall. Hall has six points to go along with six rebounds and four assists. 12.52 to play. And the Wonder Boys are back in front, 54-52, as Harding goes with the quick counterattack, a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. Kamani Binder called for the push. Kamani picks up his first, I should say his second personal foul. B.J. Johnson out for Arkansas Tech. And Keelan Adams is back in, so it's Binder, Adams, Howard, Hall, and Briley for Arkansas Tech. 
Inbound to Santiago on the left wing. Ramiro Santiago dribbles right. Tony Hall picks him up defensively. Pass on the right wing for Benkovic. Benkovic back to Santiago. Santiago gets into the lane. Running 10-footer is good for Ramiro Santiago. And this looks like the Ramiro Santiago we watched score 35 points in Cersei on January the 25th. Score is tied at 54. Left wing, Tony Hall. Hall gets to the left elbow, throws it out right wing for Briley. Briley dribbles right. Feeds it down low for Howard. Layup good for Kevin Howard and a foul. It'll be a three-point play opportunity for the transfer from LSU Shreveport. The foul on Harding is against Dorian Benkovic. It is his second personal foul. Team foul number one this half against the Bisons. And Kevin Howard to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Howard on the season is five out of seven at the line, 71%. His free throw is good, and with 12.17 to go, Arkansas Tech leads 57-54. to 54. A little light token pressure here by the Wonder Boys, three-quarter court. Now they'll set up the man-to-man -man defense in the half court. Benkovich dribbles left. Briley recovers defensively, forces him to pass to Harvey. Harvey dribbles right to the top of the key. Briley takes him now on a switch. Harvey penetrates, running eight-footer in the lane, no good. Tyler Moore gets the offensive rebound, double team, goes up anyway and draws a foul. The foul on Arkansas Tech will take us to a timeout on the floor. Tony Hall picks up the foul, his third. Timeout at Tucker Coliseum, 11 minutes and 50 seconds to play. Arkansas Tech, 57, Harding, 54, back in one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. The right roof starts with the right roofer. That's why you should trust Miller Roofing Company. They're not just good, they're great. Miller Roofing has been serving our River Valley since 1991. Choosing an established company ensures upfront quality and back-end support for your home or business. Did you know the average roofing company lasts only four years? Mature, proven, and established companies carry the least risk. And that's what Miller Roofing's all about. Get your free estimate today by calling 479-890-3499 or visit miller-roofing.net. How can I help you? Can you turn on the porch light? I can't see anything. Sorry, I didn't get that. Ow! Mm, not every innovation is helpful. But the new ITMs at First State Bank can help you achieve your banking needs at the push of a button. Interact with local tellers, cash a check, and more right from your car. Plus, ITMs are open weekdays from 7 to 7. To learn more about First State Bank's new innovative services, go to fsbitm.com. Casey, J.C., Darknell, Russellville. Hey, you guys play the best country of all. River Country. J.C., J.C. Each of the Wonder Boys' last six games have been decided by eight points or less, and it looks like we're headed for another tight one here tonight at Tucker Coliseum. 11 minutes and 50 seconds to go in the second half. Arkansas Tech 57, Harding 54. And at the free throw line for the Bisons, following the under 12 media timeout, it is Tyler Moore. Moore with four points and two rebounds tonight. He is two out of four at the free throw line. First one is good. Both teams shooting it well from the field here in the second half. Arkansas Tech, six of 10, 60% overall, including three out of four from three point range. Harding, even a little bit better from the field, eight out of 13. 62% since halftime, including three out of five from beyond the, the arc. Moore made both free throws, cutting the Arkansas Tech lead to a single point. Into the front court pass is stolen by Harding's Tyler Moore. He goes the length of the floor. Briley able to strip it away. What a job by Justin Briley, the only man back defensively for Arkansas Tech. And he's able to strip it away and prevent the easy two for Tyler Moore. Bisons will throw it in from the baseline with 11.37 to play. It is Romeo Harvey to get it in to Stetson Smithson. Three-pointer, rims out no good. Offensive rebound, Tyler Moore. Moore goes back to the rim and shoots and scores. And Harding is back in front with 11.28 to go at 58-57. Tyler Moore asserting himself. He has eight points now. One away from matching his season and career high. Binder dribbles right, gets inside the painted area, dishes for Gosnell, and Gosnell is fouled on the way up. He'll have two free throws. 
And now the officials want to talk it over. And make sure that was just a regular foul. Looks like that's going to be the case. The foul on Stetson Smithson. It was a hard foul, no doubt, but a clean play. And Stetson Smithson picks up his third personal foul. Gosnell makes the first free throw. That ties the score at 58 and gives us our fourth tie of the game. There have also been four lead changes. Second try for Gosnell. Rims out no good, and it remains tied with 11.07 to go. Romeo Harvey will bring it over the timeline. Harvey with nine points here tonight. Passes cross court for Benkovich. Benkovich gives to Smithson. Those two play catch on the left side of the floor with 16 on the shot clock. Tony Hall defends Stetson Smithson. Hand off to Santiago. Step back three. No good off the back lip. Long rebound. Out of bounds. Last touched by Keelan Adams with 10 minutes and 44 seconds to go. The Bisons will have it with 20 on the shot clock. Inbound pass will be made by Romero Santiago. Gets it into Benkovic. Benkovic guarded by Justin Briley. Passes left wing for Santiago. Santiago dribbles right. Gets a pick from Tyler Moore. Double teamed. He lost the handle. Stolen by Briley. Lead pass is picked up by Binder. Binder to the rim. Count the layup and a foul. A three-point play opportunity for Kamani Binder. The foul on Dorian Benkovic of Harding is his third. And Binder to the free throw line, looking to add to his season high total. He's got 12 points, and he'll shoot for 13 with 10.27 to go. Tony Hall is out. B.J. Johnson is back in for Arkansas Tech. And now Binder to the line, where he's one out of two so far tonight. He seeks his 13th point. He's got it. And the Wonder Boys lead 61-58, 10-24 to go. A little light 2-2-1 full court press here. Just trying to slow the Bisons down a little bit. Now the Wonder Boys will get into their man-to-man -man defense again in the half court. Santiago with it on the right wing, zips it down low for Tyler Moore. Moore double teamed, falls down with the basketball, out of bounds, and it will belong to Arkansas Tech. Nico Gosnell, Justin Briley. B.J. Johnson, Kamani Binder, and Keelan Adams are the five for Arkansas Tech. James Harris, Stetson Smithson, Romeo Harvey, Ramiro Santiago, and Tyler Moore for Harding. Ten minutes and four seconds left. Wonder Boys with the ball up by three. Gosnell slips the screen, goes to post up, pass out to Johnson, three-pointer, no good from the top of the key for B.J. Johnson. And the basketball back to Harding as we have crossed the ten-minute mark here in the second half. Josh Perkins replaces Tyler Moore for the Bisons. Both teams continuing to shoot it well here in the second half. Arkansas Tech 7 out of 11, including five consecutive makes from the field for Arkansas Tech. Harding has made 9 of 17, 53% since halftime. Feed down low for Stetson Smithson. He'll go one-on-one -on -one against Keelan Adams. Adams pokes it away from him, out of bounds. And the Bisons will maintain possession with 14 on the shot clock. Dorian Benkovich is back in for the Bisons. He spells Romeo Harvey. Benkovich will make the inbound pass. Benkovich looking. Gives to James Harris, left corner. Briley with the defense on him. Harris fakes the pass, right-handed dribble drive, and he draws the foul on Justin Briley. It'll be two free throws for Harris. Briley gets his second personal foul. It is team foul number eight as compared to three fouls in the second half committed by Harding. And Harris goes to the free throw line where he is one for one so far tonight and 17 out of 20 this season, which I believe figures out to 85%. The first one on its way and good for James Harris. He will have another opportunity. 9.34 to go. The second free throw for Harris is short. No good defensive rebound by Kamani Binder of Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys with the ball and the lead, 61-59. In a matchup of two, three, and five teams in conference play, trying to break out of that middle of the pack. Right corner, B.J. Johnson, left-handed dribble drive, kicks it out to Adams on the left wing. Keelan steps back for three, no good. Rebound, Harding. Stetson Smithson got it. Nine minutes, nine seconds to go. Bisons could tie it with a two or take the lead with a three. 
Santiago has it. He dribbles right, defended by Briley. Gets to the free throw line, dishes out for Harris, and Harris stepped out of bounds. Turnover number 12 for Harding. And the Wonder Boys get it back at the 8.55 mark. Arkansas Tech led in scoring tonight by C.J. Mann and Kamani Binder with 13 points apiece. B.J. Johnson has 10 points for Arkansas Tech. Harding led so far by Stetson Smithson with 13 points, James Harris with 12, and Ramiro Santiago with 10. Wonder Boys will throw it in from the near sideline after it was poked away out of bounds by Harding. Kamani Binder, B.J. Johnson, Justin Briley, Nico Gosnell, and Keelan Adams are the five on the floor. Inbound for Briley. Briley goes right, puts Harris on skates for a moment, then throws it out to Binder for three. It's no good off the back iron. Keelan Adams just almost tracked down the offensive rebound. He put a toe on the near sideline as soon as he tracked down the basketball, and thus it belongs to Harding. 8.35 to go. Another chance for the Bisons to tie it with a two or take the lead with a three, but it's been right at three minutes since the Bisons last made a field goal. Wonder Boys have locked it down defensively. Need to continue to do so. Top of the key, Santiago passes right wing to Harris. Got a good look at three for the lead and cashed it in. Eight minutes and 18 seconds to go, and Harris gives the Bisons a 62-61 to 61 lead. Harris has 15 points. Right wing, Justin Briley hands it off to Kamani Binder. The Wonder Boys will make three changes at the next dead ball, which will also coincidentally be a media timeout. Feed down low for Gosnell, lay up good and a foul. Nico puts the Wonder Boys back in the lead, and he'll have a chance to add one to it when we come back. The foul is on Harding's Dorian Benkovic. It is his fourth team foul number four, and there's timeout at Tucker Coliseum. Seven minutes and 57 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 63, Harding 62, back in one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Maybe you're moving some dirt around the house. Got jobs to do. Well, maybe you don't have what you need. River Valley Tractor has it, and they have great prices and great people. They treat people like you would expect to treat family. Kubota has you covered. Construction equipment, farm equipment, zero-turn mowers. Go by today and see the family at River Valley Tractor, 702 Weir Road in Russellville. Call them today at 968-3795. That's 968-3795. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you, so come on by Old South. I want to send good luck to the Golden Suns volleyball team and head coach Kara Dukic. They will be in action here at Tucker Coliseum tomorrow night at 6 p.m. against Henderson State. The Golden Suns volleyball team off to a 2-0 and start in this unorthodox spring season for them. You can follow live coverage of tomorrow night's volleyball match at ArkansasTechSports.com. Limited fan attendance. If you're not on the pass list and don't have a digital ticket, you can't get in. That's the same story right now for basketball as well. Nico Gosnell at the free throw line. His free throw is good as he completes the three-point play wrapped around the under-8 media timeout. And it's 64-62 Wonder Boys with 7.57 to go. Now Gosnell checks out as the Wonder Boys did make those three changes. C.J. Mann, Justin Briley, Tony Hall, Kamani Binder, and Kevin Howard are now the five contestants for Arkansas Tech. Benkovich with it in the front court gives top of the key for Perkins. Perkins guarded by Kevin Howard. Passes left wing for Benkovich. 13 to shoot. Benkovich got a step on his defender, decided to pass to Romeo Harvey. Harvey dribbles right, gets to the free throw line, throws it in the corner. Pass received there by Benkovich. They reverse it and try to give it into the low post for Josh Perkins. And as they do, a whistle and a holding foul against Arkansas Tech's Kevin Howard. Howard gets his first personal foul, team foul number nine. And the Wonder Boys are one foul away from putting the Bisons into the double bonus 
And there's still a lot of basketball left here tonight. Seven minutes and 29 seconds in regulation to be exact. Perkins, the front end of the one and one. It is no good. Defensive rebound by C.J. Mann of Arkansas Tech. And the Wonder Boys keep their two-point lead intact with 7.23 to go. Briley passes left wing for Tony Hall. Here comes Mann, makes a catch behind a Briley screen. Mann goes left, defended by Binkovic. Howard sets a ball screen, pass to Briley on the right wing. Back to Mann. Mann fakes the three. Passes back to Briley. Catch and shoot for Briley. It is short, no good. Offensive rebound. Howard, he puts it home and a foul. Josh Perkins picks up his second personal foul. And to the free throw line to shoot one for Arkansas Tech goes Kevin Howard. And the Wonder Boys post players, Nico Gosnell and Kevin Howard, threatening to put up back-to-back three-point plays here. And if Howard is successful, the Wonder Boys' lead will be five. The free throw for Howard is good. And back-to-back three-point plays by Nico Gosnell and Kevin Howard have staked Arkansas Tech to a 67-62 lead as we go under seven minutes to play. Harvey passes left wing for Benkovic. Back to Harvey. Harvey dribbles right, gets into the lane, running 12-footer. Justin Briley forced the miss and rebounded it. Arkansas Tech the other way. Coach Downey calls the play from the sideline. Briley dribbles on the right wing, goes left. Tony Hall sets the pick. Back to Hall now on the Tech logo at midcourt. 13 to shoot. Hall drives, dishes, and it's intercepted by Dorian Benkovic. Turnover number 13 for Arkansas Tech. Benkovic gets it back from Harvey, shoots for three, short, no good. Defensive rebound by Justin Briley. Briley down the right side of the lane, all the way to the rim, and lays it in. Six points for Justin Briley, and timeout taken by Harding head coach Jeff Morgan. Six minutes and 14 seconds left in Russellville. Arkansas Tech 69, Harding 62. It's an eight to nothing run back in one minute. This is Wonder Boys basketball. There are so many places my vehicle and so many brands to choose from. Here at Phil Ryan Auto Place, we're proud of our River Valley roots. And every day, we're providing families with safe, dependable vehicles from Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Toyota. We were found at a time your handshake was as good as your word. Since then, the vehicles have changed and the people have aged. Well, we're still the same families we were back then. Come experience why so many families are trusting Phil Wright Autoplex here in Russellville. Our shop is online at philwright.com. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service. We're more than just tires. Consistent, responsive, honest and fair. What makes us different? We're the ones who care. Trust our experience to know what you need. Professional and fast. See what we mean. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service. We're more than just tires. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service. 2304 East Main, Russellville. Six minutes and 14 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 69, Harding 62. Kevin Howard, Tony Hall, B.J. Johnson, C.J. Mann, and Justin Briley are the five on the floor for Tech. For Harding, it's Ramiro Santiago, Romeo Harvey, James Harris, along with Stetson Smithson and Tyler Moore. 6.05 to go as the Bisons get into their half-court offense. Santiago defended by Briley, gives left wing to Harris. C.J. Mann with the defense on him. Now to the top of the key for Santiago. Santiago dribbles left, down the left side of the lane. Nobody can stop him. He lays it in. Ramiro Santiago has 12 points, 5.48 to go, and the Wonder Boys' lead is five. That stops the 8 to nothing Arkansas Tech run. Right wing Mann, defended by Santiago, gives top of the key for Howard. Pass in the left wing for Briley. Briley goes right, open look at three, got it. Justin Briley with nine points to go along with four rebounds and four assists. And as we go under five and a half minutes to play, the Wonder Boys lead by eight. Right wing Harris, three pointer, short, no good. Rebound, Arkansas Tech, Briley with the defensive rebound. And he'll walk it up floor with Arkansas Tech leading 72-64 and five minutes and 10 seconds to play. Briley gets a high ball screen from Howard, drives to the rim, shot rejected by Tyler Moore, and then in transition, a whistle and a foul taken by Arkansas Tech. Kevin Howard is called for the hack across the arm. 
It is his second personal foul. It is team foul number 10, and that means Harding will be in the double bonus for the final five minutes and three seconds of regulation, plus anything that follows after that. Stetson Smithson to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Smithson is a, per is a perfect 11 out of 11 at the free throw line this year. He had 10 points and five rebounds in the first meeting between the Wonder Boys and the Bisons, and his first try rattles out no good for the first miss from the free throw line of his collegiate career. The freshman from Bald Knob ready with the second try. It is also no good. It rattles out, and Tony Hall has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Full court pressure by Harding. Johnson takes the pass at midcourt. Zips it into the front court, gives to Kevin Howard, and he stuffs it through. A two-hand slam dunk by Kevin Howard, and the Wonder Boys lead by 10, 74-64. Harvey many steps, and then a foul against Arkansas Tech. It is a 13-2 run for Arkansas Tech. And a foul against B.J. Johnson bails out Romeo Harvey, who was off balance and out of control on the left wing. Harvey to the free throw line where he's three out of four so far tonight. The foul on B.J. Johnson is his fourth. He is the first wonder boy to reach four fouls. Harvey's first free throw is good as he gets his tenth point of the game and becomes the fourth Bison to reach double figures in scoring tonight. Keelan Adams and Kamani Binder replace B.J. Johnson and Justin Briley in the Arkansas Tech lineup. Now Romeo Harvey ready with his second free throw try. This to pull the Bisons within eight with 4.46 to go, and he is successful. Our new score is 74-66. Wonder Boys with the ball and the lead. They'd look to double team C.J. Mann in the backcourt. He bounce passes out of it to Tony Hall. Ahead to Keelan Adams into the front court with two and a half seconds to spare. Tony Hall drives, gets to the rim, layup good for Tony Hall. Hall has eight points, seven rebounds, four assists, 428 to go, and the Wonder Boys lead by 10. Quick shot up for Harding, no good. Harris tips the rebound out to Santiago. Now to Smithson at the top of the key. Back to Santiago on the right wing. Four minutes and 14 seconds left. Santiago defended by Keelan Adams, shoots from deep at the top of the key and hits. Got to give him that one if he can hit it. 15 points for Santiago as he connects from 28 feet at the top of the key. We go under four minutes to play, and it's 76-69, Wonder Boys by seven. C.J. Mann at the controls for Arkansas Tech. Bounce pass right wing for Kamani Binder. Left wing Mann. Harding in a 2-3 zone defense. Hall shoots over it for three, no good. Howard tips the rebound out to Mann. The Wonder Boys get their eighth offensive rebound of the night. Right side Hall. Gives to Adams at the top of the key. 12 to shoot. Zips it down low to Howard. Howard got behind the defense and lays it in. Kevin Howard has 10 points. And the Wonder Boys lead by 9, 78-69. It's a new season high for Kevin Howard. Left side. Santiago gives to Moore. Moore right-handed dribble into the paint. Turns, shoots, and scores. An 8-footer in the lane for Tyler Moore. And a timeout taken by Harding. 3 minutes and 13 seconds to play. Arkansas Tech 78, Harding 71, back in 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Hey guys, this is Carl Kirtley with Centennial Bank. Now more than ever, Centennial Bank is proud to cheer all the student athletes in the River Valley. Centennial Bank believes the teachers, administrators, and staff of our local schools help make our communities great, and we applaud their persistent preparation and hard work during these difficult times. Centennial Bank invites you to be a part of this great tradition and show your support this season. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Three minutes and 13 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 78, Harding 71. The Bisons have one timeout left. Arkansas Tech has three timeouts remaining. The Bisons are in the double bonus. Harding still has one foul to give before it even puts Arkansas Tech into the one and one. Should the possession arrow become a factor, it would favor the Harding University Bisons. Let's take a look at the GAC scoreboard. These are all men's scores from tonight. We brought you the women's scores earlier. Final score from Magnolia, UA Monticello takes first place in the GAC Eastern Division. 
as the Bull Weevils beat Southern Arkansas tonight 78 to 69 behind 22 points from Dewan Jones. It's all tied up at Bill Vining Arena with 537 to go. Henderson State and Washita tied at 50. 706 left in Bethany. Southern Nazarene leads Oklahoma Baptist 52 to 38. And in Durant, it's Southeastern Oklahoma State 71 and East Central 62 with five minutes and 10 seconds to play. Kevin Howard, Tony Hall, C.J. Mann, Kamani Binder, and Keelan Adams, the five on the floor for Tech. And Kevin Howard has come up big down the stretch here for Arkansas Tech. Seven of his 10 points tonight have come in the last four minutes. Left wing, Keelan Adams, defended by Stetson Smithson, passed to the top of the key for Binder. Now right wing to C.J. Mann. Mann gives it out front for Keelan Adams. 15 on the shot clock, passes back to Mann. Mann, defended by James Harris, sees a seam, drives, dishes for Adams. Keelan penetrates, spins, shoots from 12, and scores off the window and good for Keelan Adams. He has 11 points, the 16th time in his Arkansas Tech career that he has reached double figures in scoring. And on the other end, Stetson Smithson with a traveling violation to give it right back to Arkansas Tech. End of the game for the Wonder Boys is Justin Briley. He will replace C.J. Mann. And the Wonder Boys will look to add to a nine-point lead with 2.39 to play. Five Wonder Boys in double figures in scoring tonight, led by C.J. Mann and Kamani Binder with 13 points apiece. Left wing Adams gives it out front to Justin Briley. Briley goes right, hands it off to Binder. Kamani hands it off to Keelan Adams. Adams gives it to Briley. Little three-man weave here at the top of the key. Briley back to Adams, six to shoot. Keelan penetrates, gets into the lane. Goes to the left side of the lane, shoots from eight feet, and got the roll. Keelan Adams has 13 points, including the last four, and the Wonder Boys lead by 11. Harding with the quick counterattack. Harris for three, no good from the right wing. Defensive rebound by Kamani Binder, and a foul taken by Harding in the backcourt with a minute 58 left. It's only the sixth team foul, so no free throws yet for the Wonder Boys. And Tony Hall will throw it in to Justin Briley. Briley will bring it over the timeline, guarded by James Harris. Wonder Boys looking to stop that losing streak at two in a row. Right wing Keelan Adams. A chance to improve to 2-0 and against Harding this year. Kamani Binder with it. Feeds it inside the lane for Adams. And Adams got it caught on his hip. Took one step too many before he dribbled and the Wonder Boys commit their 14th turnover. Romeo Harvey will bring it into the front court for Harding. Tyler Moore, James Harris, Stetson Smithson, Ramiro Santiago, and Romeo Harvey are the five for the Bisons. One minute, 39 seconds left. Arkansas Tech leading 82 to 71. The Wonder Boys have surged late, outscoring the Bisons by a wide margin over the last eight minutes of the game. Arkansas Tech's outscored them 21 to 10 over that span. Layup up and good for Stetson Smithson with 122 left. And it's 82-73. Wonder Boys with the ball up by nine. A minute 12 to go. Justin Briley over the timeline to Adams. He gives to Hall at the free throw line. Hall drives, gives to Kevin Howard, and he adds to his season high scoring total, laying it through 12 points for Howard. We go under a minute left, and the Wonder Boys lead by 11, 84-73. Left wing, Santiago, his pass stolen by Kamani Binder. Two on one, Binder to the rim, finger roll, layup good, and the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys are going to push their overall record above the 500 mark here tonight as Arkansas Tech will take down the Bisons for the second time this year. Left wing, Harvey, three-pointer is no good. Rebound, Tony Hall. Outlet pass for Justin Briley, and Arkansas Tech will improve to 6-5 and five overall, 4-5 and five in the Great American Conference. It'll be the eighth win for Arkansas Tech in its last nine games against the Bisons. The foul on Santiago will send the Wonder Boys to the free throw line with 31.4 seconds left. Santiago gets his third, and Justin Briley to the free throw line with a chance to become the sixth Wonder Boy in double figures in scoring, and he does it. Ten points for Briley, joining Binder with 15, Keelan Adams and C.J. Mann with 13 apiece, 12 for Kevin Howard, and now 10 each for B.J. Johnson, and Justin Briley make it 11 for Briley. 
Wonder Boys by 15. Wonder Boys have come through big here at winning time. Harris three-pointer good with 23 seconds left. And it's 88-76. Full court pressure by Harding, 20 seconds to go. Keelan Adams over the timeline, and Stetson Smithson wraps him up 40 feet from the basket. And it'll be two, or I should say no, a one and one with 18 seconds left, as that's only the eighth team foul. Keelan Adams with 13 points tonight. This will be his first free throw attempt of the game. He is an 83% free throw shooter on the year, which is tied for fifth best in the Great American Conference this season. Keelan appearing in his 38th game as a Wonder Boy tonight. Makes the front end of the one and one. It's his 14th point of this game and the 329th point of his Arkansas Tech career. The second free throw try is on its way. It is no good. Rebound Harding. Into the front court come the Bisons. Ramiro Santiago, defended by Justin Briley, puts up a three. It's no good. Rebound Kamani Binder. And the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys have defeated the Harding Bisons. Final score at Tucker Coliseum is Arkansas Tech 89, Harding 76. Back in 30 seconds with the postgame show and Coach Downey, Wonder Boys win. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Feltner's Athletes Corner Sale is now in progress. Save up to 40% off selected athletic apparel by Nike, Russell Athletic, Columbia, The North Face, Adidas, and Oakley. Feltner's is closing out selected athletic footwear by Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Asics, New Balance, Brooks, and Sockney. Enjoy the comfort and quality of the best brands in athletic footwear and apparel at clearest prices. At Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, open 930 to 6, Monday through Saturday for the spectacular savings event. All sales during this special event are final. We're joined by Mark Downey, head coach of the Wonder Boys. Coach, this was an even-up game with eight minutes to go. You outscored them 28-14 to 14 over those last eight minutes. The spark were those two back-to-back three-point plays by Nico Gosnell and then by Kevin Howard, and those were two of those toughness plays that you've been talking about. Yeah, um, it's nice to see those guys. They were getting out tough at that point. Our five men were on the glass on the defensive end. I think they had... I don't know. I heard one of my assistants say they had 11 offensive rebounds. I don't know if that was in the half or just overall. It was probably overall because they only had four at halftime. But we were getting out toughed on the glass, and then they came up with some big offensive plays uh, at the rim. And huge for us, huge. I thought Keelan Adams made some big plays too. But Kevin and Nico, they've had good games against Harding both times this year. So our guards have been able to get in the gaps and get in the paint and share the ball with the posts. And, uh, you know, I think Nico had seven dunks in the first game. So, um, yeah, it's good, good outing by our bigs. Other than that toughness down the stretch, the second best thing that I saw tonight was it felt like to me, really for the first time, Kamani Binder was comfortable in the offense. He was sure of his movements, and that made a big difference for him tonight. Yeah, what you got to realize about Kamani, um, you know, when he was in junior college two years ago, loved him. I mean, he could really, really score um, and, and hasn't played in a year and a half. I mean, just coming off an Achilles tear and, you know, we didn't know in the fall if he was even going to play this year. So for him to start giving us uh, a lift like that and, and being comfortable is huge for us. So I'm happy for him, too, just not being able to play uh, for a year and a half. You know, we talked a lot about C.J. Mann early in the year. The last couple of games, you know, when you really burst onto the scene as a new player in the league, everybody starts watching the film and they start trying to figure out how to make you uncomfortable. And the last couple of opponents had done that. It was good to see C.J. make the adjustment and bounce back here tonight and, and look more like C.J. Mann. Yeah, I mean, our, our point guards played really well. Um, C.J. played well, and, and it's it's fun to watch C.J., um, especially being a freshman, and, and I'd love the fact that he'll be a freshman again next year. Um, but then Briley, you know, Justin Briley, C.J. struggled a little bit there in the second half, and Justin came in right behind him, and he's just playing solid, you know, and then hit a big three, um, hit a real big three. It was a tough shot, and, uh, you know, when our when – our, uh, point guards are, are, are not turning it over. Um, they're pretty good players. They're pretty good players, and, and they didn't turn it over tonight like they had in the past. So a good outing by, by C.J. and Justin. Finished with a 25-15 to 15 edge in points off turnovers here tonight. 17 fast break points early in the year when these guys were just starting to get to know each other. 
and starting to get to know you and the system and the offense, there were a lot of times you kind of had to put the brakes on them if, if they got to stop and not allow those fast break opportunities. But they're starting to get to know each other, and they're starting to make good decisions on the fa those fast breaks such that you can let them go a little bit more yeah. now, can't you? Yeah, we are. We're letting them go. I'm telling them to go a little bit more than I was, you know, four or five games ago and starting to trust them. You know, that's what we talk about all the time with our team is trust and you know, who can we trust to put in the game? Who's gonna, who can we trust to be in there in crunch time? Who can we trust to start? Uh, and then it just trickles down from there, and, and the trust, uh, it, it's coming. It really is. All right, Coach, we'll see you on Thursday night in Arkadelphia. Sounds good. I'm ready. That is Mark Downey, <laughs> the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech, following an 89-76 to win tonight over the Harding Bisons as the Wonder Boys improve to 6-5 and five overall and 4-5 and five in the Great American Conference. Harding falls to 3-6 and six overall, 3-6 and six in the league. Here are the final numbers. Harding, 26 of 56, 46% from the field, including 12 of 26, also 46% from three-point range. And the Bisons were 12 of 20, 60% at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 34 of 58 from the field, 59%. Arkansas Tech finished with 10 three-pointers tonight, 10 out of 23 right at their season average for made threes, 44% from beyond the arc tonight for Arkansas Tech, and 11 out of 15, 73% at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech out-rebounded the Bisons 32 to 29. Arkansas Tech had 19 assists and just 14 turnovers tonight. The Bisons finished with 12 assists and 14 turnovers. Individual leaders first for Harding, 18 points to lead the way for James Harris as he matched his season high. 15 points apiece for Stetson Smithson and Ramiro Santiago. Wonder Boys did a better job defensively on Santiago than in the previous meeting in Searcy. 11 points tonight for Romeo Harvey, 10 for Tyler Moore, as the Bisons put five and double figures. Six points tonight for Josh Perkins and one for Dorian Benkovic. Arkansas Tech led tonight as they put six and double figures, led by Kamani Binder with 15 points. Binder five out of seven from the field, including three of four from three-point range. Keelan Adams finished with 14 points and seven rebounds, including some key buckets down the stretch. He had back-to-back -back scores with just under three minutes to go. It pushed it out to an 11-point lead, and it was pretty comfortable the rest of the way after that for Arkansas Tech. C.J. Mann had 13 points tonight. He hit two three-pointers. Kevin Howard, a season-high 12 points. He was 5 of 6 from the field, 5 rebounds as well tonight for Howard. 11 points in the game for Justin Briley. I should ask Coach about B.J. Johnson. I apologize if any of B.J.'s folks are out there listening. Uh, B.J. Johnson had a big first half. He had 10 points early on. I really had not been looking for his shot early on. It was good to see B.J. assert himself more offensively here tonight, and he finished with 10 points, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists for Tony Hall, and 6 points tonight for Nico Gosnell as the Wonder Boys get the win, 89-76. to And it was a clean sweep tonight for Arkansas Tech. Earlier in the women's game, the nationally 19th-ranked Golden Suns improved to 8-0 and for the first time since the 14-15 season. The Golden Suns defeating the Harding Lady Bisons tonight by a final score of 67-56. to Leading the way offensively tonight and defensively for the Golden Suns was Nikki Metcalf. She had 16 points tonight and 11 blocked shots, tying the school record for most blocked shots in a single game by a Golden Sun, matching the 11 blocked shots that Cindy Patton had in the first round of the 1989 NAIA National Tournament against Rockhurst. Golden Suns win, Wonder Boys win, a good night all around at Tucker Coliseum. One last look at the GAC scoreboard. 38 seconds left in Arkadelphia. Henderson State leads Washita 58-55. 32 seconds left in Bethany. Oklahoma Baptist has pulled ahead of Southern Nazarene 57-55. And a final score from Durant. Southeastern Oklahoma State has defeated East Central 85-77. Check GreatAmericanConference.com for the final scores from Bethany and Arkadelphia as Washita and Henderson State and Oklahoma Baptist and Southern Nazarene go down to the wire. I want to send along special thanks to the sports information offices at these two institutions, Scott Good, Nathan Looney, all of the folks at Harding University, as well as Daniel Gallegos, Taylor Gomez, Stormy Leonard, and everybody else in the Arkansas Tech Office of Athletic Communications. Those folks, along with Eric Moyer from the Great American Conference Office, provided us with all of the numbers we were able to share with you tonight. We thank them for their many contributions to this broadcast, as well as Mr. Stephen Berry, who did a great job, as always, as our chief studio engineer. Thank you to the sponsors who make it possible, and thanks to you for listening. Our next broadcast of Arkansas Tech Athletics will come your way Thursday night from Bill Vining Arena in the loveliest village on the Washita River, Arkadelphia, Arkansas, as Arkansas Tech University and Washita Baptist University 
will meet for a GAC doubleheader, 5.30 for the women's game and 7.30 for the men. And you can hear it all Thursday night right here on River Country, KCJC, and ArkansasTechSports.com. Until then, for my broadcast partner, Kelly Davis, I'm Sam Straysner, reminding you that Jerry says, fight on. So long, everybody. <laughs>